today I'm back out here on the uh, on our fenced in garden project today we're going to be continuing our raised beds we're going to continue them down the hill on this side and this is on a slope we've got about a 40 inch uh, change in elevation as we go down this hill so as we build these raised beds each one of these raised beds is probably going to step down about uh, you know six inches or so and then go to the next one we'll step down about six inches and go across so each raised bed will be you know built level and then we'll just have to drop down and start building the next raised bed that's kind of the way we'll stair step the raised beds down this hill so these two posts right here you can see are closer together that's where uh we'll have one of the uh a gate to enter and exit the the garden area and it's going to lead out to this water hydrant back here and it'll also lead out to the orchard and uh, so the way I'll probably build this is I'll probably start on this side and we're going to work our way down this hill till we get to the gate and that's going to be kind of an end point and we'll finish these three raised beds first and then we'll probably actually go down here to the corner we'll, we'll build this corner raised bed and then we'll work our way back up to the gate here and then that will finish out that whole side it has rained it seems like almost every day around here really hard to keep moving on these projects so but last weekend i was able to get out here and i was able to set all these posts along this side i got them set in concrete so they've been set now for a week so these are all good and uh, the concrete's all cured it's all ready to go uh, so we can start building these raised beds today so I did end up ordering a dump truck load full of topsoil. So this is probably around 15 tons worth of topsoil. This was dropped off here a few days ago. And uh, so the plan is that I'm going to use this topsoil to fill the raised beds up. So I'll just take the topsoil, I'll mix that with some compost, maybe some peat moss or some other organic material. And, uh, you know, we'll mix that up and fill the raised beds with it. Uh, this will be a way cheaper way to be able to fill up these raised beds and hopefully i got a lot of raised beds on this project by the time i'm done there's going to be raised beds going all the way around so hopefully that's enough dirt to be able to fill them all up so first thing this morning i actually got out here and i weed eated the orchard so this orchard had not it's the first time i weeded it you know weed eated it all year and uh, so today the orchard actually looks kind of groomed. Everything's looking all nice. All the trees are uh, got all their leaves on them, and uh, we've got uh, we've got our strawberries here. Look at all the blooms on these strawberries. We're about to have a ton of strawberries here pretty soon. But uh, but the orchard's looking pretty good. I think once we get done with this garden area here, it'll be really nice to be able to have all these fruit and these berries and then all the vegetables and it'll be all right next to the house. I think this is going to turn out to be a pretty good setup when we're done. So let's go ahead and see if we can get these raised beds built. So I dug this out for this first board so it could sit in there level. This board is sitting basically on the grass on this side, but for it to sit level, I had to dig it out so it into the ground over here so it could sit in the ground. And you can see how deep in the ground that is. It's about six inches down in the ground for that to be able to sit level across there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to screw the board to this post. I'm going to double check that it's still level, and then I'll attach it to this post here, and then I'll add my second board on top of here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and continue down with that same method all the way down. So one thing I'd like to point out real quick is that when you, when I filled this up with concrete, um, I didn't fill it all the way to the top with concrete. So you can see that the concrete's like this deep down. And the reason I did that is because I knew I was going to have to dig down about six inches on this side and attach a board. So if you're working down a hill like this, you don't want to fill these completely full of concrete because you will be you know digging down one side and attaching a board or something like that so um, so I've tried my best to not fill these full of concrete there will be a couple that I may have a little bit full and may get in the way but if you're doing this down a slope like this I mean if this is perfectly level you could pretty much fill those to the top but since it's not and we're going downhill it's a good idea to not fill them up all the way and uh, so it don't, doesn't get in your way later. 
So I'm going to go ahead. I'm basically going to go ahead and continue this section right here. And uh, hopefully when we come back, I'll have it done. So the concrete in this post I actually poured too high. So right down here, this is the level that I need my board to be. But you can see my concrete's probably at least an extra two inches taller than that. So I'm gonna take uh, a masonry hammer. I'm gonna try to chip this one side away here. And hopefully I can just take the top of this side off so that I can slide that board in there and, and attach it to that side of the post. So I don't wanna totally destroy all this concrete. I just wanna take off a little section of it. So I did end up beating the rain, um, still hasn't rained yet. Um, I did get sprinkled on a, a, a couple times, but nothing real bad. So I did get all the construction portion of these raised beds done, so uh, they are completely built. And I think they turned out pretty good, I think they're looking pretty good right now. So they're pretty much ready for me to start filling full of topsoil. Now there is one thing that's not perfect about them, and, uh, and what that is, is when I started building these, I built them on that far side and I started stair stepping them down this slope as it goes downhill this direction. And that far side looks perfect. Everything just looks right on that far side. But the problem is, is I'm sloped in two directions. I'm sloping downhill this way, but I'm also sloping downhill this direction. So the front side of these beds, this closer side of the raised bed is actually, the ground is lower. So. Uh, of course, I didn't have to dig out as much on this side, but what that ended up causing is I ended up with a gap under my board. Um, so the this bottom board here on the front is actually above the ground a couple inches, so I've got a gap on each one of these raised beds on this downhill side. So 
it does look a little choppy on this side doesn't quite look right um, so what I'm going to do to fix that right now is I'm just I've dug all that clay soil out and I've got that clay soil that I've dug out to build these so I'm going to take some of that soil and I'm going to pack that in around this front edge and to help cover up all them gaps and then when I put my potting soil my topsoil in there you know it won't come out the bottom now it still isn't going to look very good it's going to look a little uh, rough I, I hope in the future I can get some wood chips and then I'll make pathways of wood chips and I'll build those wood chips up you know two three inches thick of wood chips and then those wood chips will help cover up all them gaps and it'll help make everything look better uh, but for right now I'm just gonna go ahead take that uh, clay soil that I've dug out and just pack in the front side and uh, and I think that'll work for now so right now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take some of that topsoil back there it's in a pile I'm gonna mix that with some compost and I'm gonna start filling these raised beds up I'm gonna see if I can get them uh, full, of, full of soil so I can get them planted and then uh, then you can really see how these uh, these raised beds turned out you know it just doesn't doesn't really give it any justice on how this is really gonna look until you get some topsoil in there get some plants in there so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get these filled with topsoil and uh, then we'll come back and uh, show you the end result of these raised beds going down this slope So the day I built these raised beds, as soon as I pretty much got complete, you know, with the build, um, it ended up just raining on me that day. I wasn't able to put the topsoil in that day. So I actually have not been able to get back to this project. I've had so much going on that I finally got back to it this week. And so I worked on it after work through the, through the week this week. And uh, one night after work, I was able to fill all these up with uh, topsoil using the tractor. And then a couple nights after that, you know, took a couple more nights after work to be able to amend the soil in the beds, um, add peat moss and compost to them and get that all mixed up and to get all these planted. So now I've got all these filled with soil and they're all planted now. So they're all 100% complete. And uh, so it's it really interesting, you know, the whole process of trying to, to build these raised beds. I was trying to build them level. And uh, but yet I needed to, you know, I needed to take them and and build them down this hill and stair step them down the slope of this hill. So it was kind of an interesting process. I think it turned out uh, fairly good, but uh, let's go ahead and have a look at it and see how they turned out. So here's the raised beds from the bottom of the hill and we're kind of looking up the hill so you can kind of see how they step up the hill. Now the way this kind of worked out is as you work your way down the hill, I, I built these raised beds with, with uh, two two by sixes tall. So on the uphill side, you end up with one board about showing right there. And then by the time you go down the slope, you end up with both two by sixes exposed. And then you go to the next raised bed and it's the same thing. One board exposed. And then as you go down the raised bed, uh, both boards you know, end up showing. And that's just kind of how it ended up working as you went down the hill. Now this this raised bed here at the end of the hill, it had slope in two directions. So it's losing, it's going downhill this direction, but it's also going downhill in that direction. So if you notice, we have one board showing here, and then it goes to two boards, 
and then over here it's two boards and then as it goes downhill it ends up being three boards so this raised bed in this this corner here ends up being uh, a little bit a little bit deeper and used a little bit more lumber to do this raised bed because it was you know it is affected by slope in actually two different directions since this is a corner uh, raised bed here now this will even back out when we build our next raised bed we'll just start out with two boards again and we'll just work our way down that hill and it'll kind of even back out but that was kind of the only difference here was this the corner bed was affected uh, by the slope in two directions and uh, it, it affected it a little bit more but I think as we walk up the hill here we'll look at these raised beds I think they turned out I think they've turned out pretty good um, they're not all perfectly nice and neat. Uh, my posts, my posts end up being about eight feet apart. So by the time, and I've got these nice and finished here on the ends, they basically end at the end of the post and that's where the gate's going to be. So that's a little more finished. But when we ended here at this post, you can see I'm pretty much out of board. It pretty much, it pretty much ends in the center of the board. And, uh, so it's not quite as neat of a corner right there at that post so it i mean it's not perfect but uh you know that's just something to overlook so it's it's not exactly 100 percent perfect it looks better from the other side uh in that aspect but uh that's probably the only thing i'll nitpick other than that i think it you know as it goes up this hill you know it's looking pretty good so i think i'm pretty happy with the way it it's turned out um once i get a fence around here and everything it'll totally take a whole nother uh look to it but we'll have a look at it as we look down the hill here so you can see i think i think when you look down the hill i think you kind of get a little bit more of a idea of how far this garden kind of slopes down the hill you know it's just it's just kind of going downhill here and you see it a little bit better i think from the top so we'll go ahead and take a look from the inside and so the inside's not a not 100% perfect. There's a few gaps showing, um, which the plastic's kind of hiding it. But you can see some, some gaps are showing here um, on some of these beds. I think this one down here will show it real well. So you can kind of see there's kind of a gap here at the bottom of that raised beds. The, the downhill side ends up having a little bit of a gap on it. So it's not 100% perfect. Hopefully we'll get, some, we'll get some wood chips. I'm really trying to get some wood chips. We'll get some wood chips and start building this area up for walkways. It'll cover up all them gaps and everything will look pretty good. So I know everything don't look exactly perfect right now because I've got this black plastic down. So this black plastic is just to kill all the grass in this area so I can go ahead and add more raised beds so I can plant more plants in this area. So it's, it's not picturesque at the moment, but... Uh, I think if we just focus on the actual raised beds, I think these raised beds are turning out fairly good so far. Now I know that all the posts aren't, are a little uneven. The posts don't look 100% right. So the idea on the posts, when we put our fence up, we will cut all those posts off to whatever the correct height is. And then we're also on the top of those posts, it's gonna be hard to explain, but on the top of the posts, we're gonna probably put a two by four across the top and so you'll have like a, a border along the top of that fence it'll kind of finish the top of the fence when we build the fence but i think the fence will be a little bit uh, farther down the road it'll be one of the last things we probably do on this raised bed garden so anyway i pretty much if you watched my first raised bed garden uh video when i built the first raised beds these are pretty much built exactly the same um they do have like the little boards in the middle that help attach you know they these these boards right here they help attach those two together kind of help them um you know stay the same and stay together and stay even and um of course we got boards like that on in all the corners and uh so if you look at that very first raised bed video these are pretty much built the same except every bed goes down a little bit and goes down the hill you know it just steps down so i think it turned out pretty good so I think that the next video that I'm going to make uh, in this fenced-in garden area, I think it's going to be probably the earth garden portion. Um, of course, I'm trying to kill this off so that I can grow plants in the middle of this area. 
I may, I'm probably just have to end up renting a tiller or something so I can get this all broken up and planted. But I've got some of that, uh, what market gardeners use, that weed barrier, that weed fabric that they use. We're going to roll that out and try to make some rows. That'll help keep the weeds down so less weeding. And then we're going to get all these uh, peppers, tomatoes, artichokes, get all that planted. We've got some uh, zucchini to plant, eggplant to plant, uh, sweet corn to plant. we got a lot of things. That we want to plant here in the middle is going to be an earth garden so we got a lot of stuff we're going to plant directly in the ground um, may end up taking some of this pile of extra soil may take that and try to spread that out on the ground and try to till that in uh, to try to break up some of this clay a little bit this is all clay soil it's not very very good so i think through the years it'll take a while but if we can add stuff to it and amend to it uh, it'll end up being a good garden area over time but um uh, that's what we got planned. I think after that, you know, when the plants are planting and, you know, are growing good and we're done planting plants, uh, we'll work on some compost bins. I think I want to make like a three compost bin system. We want to put a tool shed, I think, over in that corner over there just to be able to hold all our tools and fertilizers, you know, stuff like that, you know, our, our amendments. So uh, what else? In the fall, in the fall, I want to like make some cold frames, cold frames. On the south side of the garden to the south side that faces the sun in the winter time i'd like to make some cold frames so that we actually can try to see how far we can grow plants into the winter time see if we can have some fall crops and uh, maybe grow some lettuce and stuff like that um, late in the, late into the year so it'll probably be you know when all that's done we'll probably finally look at fencing uh trying to get our fencing complete around this garden so it's going to take a long time to get it done it'll probably take you know about a year before it's 100 percent complete but i think it'll turn out great when it's done so if you're interested in this trying to make this big fenced in garden area you know hit subscribe uh pay you know and uh this will slowly post some videos throughout the year um well also we have a facebook page i never really say this on there but we have a facebook page and uh, if you want to look that up we do post some extra content on there usually some 30 second to one minute video clips of some extra stuff sometimes we may post a video clip of an upcoming video but uh, we do post uh, different additional content on our facebook page if you want to look that up so like always guys i appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video